Audrey, Josh. Hi there. Nice to meet you. I'd shake your hand, but. Grandpa, can I talk to you for a second? Sure, honey. Be careful. I got it. Grandpa, why, why do you still need his help? I can do everything that a boy can. Do. Well, I know you can, honey. I know you can. Well, I'm sorry I slept so late. I'm just getting used to the workload, that's all, and the long hours. One thing you got to remember is that animals are hungry whether you sleep it or not. Now, I don't mean to lecture you, but, uh, you know, taking care of animals is a huge responsibility, especially an injured horse. Think you're up for it? Yeah. It won't happen again. I promise. I'm sorry. God, that girl is nastier than a hog on ice. It's not that, Grandpa. I'm used to bratty girls being mean to me. But she's right, I am kind of awkward. That's why I've always preferred the company of animals. Hey, now you listen to me. You are a beautiful, graceful girl. Now, not everybody's like that. What about your new friends? They're not like that. No. They're amazing. It's true. They've accepted me for who I really am. But you reminded me of my dad in some ways. Always trying to shelter me. The truth is, is I need to stick up for myself sometimes. I can't have you or that guy fending for me. I know you meant well. Wait, what are you guys doing in here? I work here. What are you doing in here? Ah! Oh, fuck you, piece of shit! God. Daniel, I have to talk to Tracy, but I might have to work tomorrow. Tracy can't come in, and she's having trouble finding someone to cover for her. Uh, but I might not. Like I said, I, I still have to talk to her. Russell? Yes, Valerie? You're working tomorrow? Why? Maybe I'm just a loving person. <laughs> I thought you didn't want to work. No, no. I said I had to check my schedule. Uh, actually, you said you had to check your life. How does one check their life? Is there an app for that? Calendar, dumbass. And besides, Tracy needs someone responsible here. What if something happens? You won't have to worry about you're it. You're useless! You can focus on whatever it is you're doing tomorrow that doesn't involve coming in. Because I'm working and you're not. Want to send me the number to you shake a bottle's pimp? 781, fuck off. Top shelf GNC. The guy behind the counter had it, and he loved it. And I don't believe for a second that Russell isn't up to something. He hates working on Saturdays. Does he know about tomorrow? Did you guys tell him? All right. Let's split the day. Say, I'll take the morning, 8 to 12. Nope, I'm working. I hope you step on a Lego. I hope Danny really dinks his shuttlecock for a win tomorrow at the American Badminton Association. Hey everyone, it's me. So I have an important event later that I'm gonna show you how I prep my face for using my favorite number one beauty must have, the Ricky Skinny. And you can see I'm gonna cover any spots or blemishes, dark spots um, that I want concealed. Here is light and then you go out dark. So like when you want like a more nighttime look, you just wanna just darken up the colors, yeah. more pigment. Always darken the colors and mm -hmm. make sure you get here. I'm gonna get down the nose, the forehead, so wherever you naturally is. You like watching, babe? You know I do. What about you, sweetheart? Okay, Ava's clearly unconscious. That's rape one. Excuse uh, me, Dr. Barron. Is there a problem, detectives? I know you searched our house. All the drugs were legal. You could have just asked. 